Hey everybody, this is Jeremiah Craig and I'm coming at you from Hitchin Post in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Today I have a checkers boot from Tin Hall and we're gonna give this a quick impression. Let's get into it. I'm just here to connect ya and then I'll be on my way. All right, guys, so I am going across several different states here with the owner of Hondo Boots. I've done Hondo Boot videos here in store. In fact, they have a really, really cool electric blue bullhide nubuck boot that I just put a video up and you can check that out above or at the end of this video. But I also wanted to see this tin hall boot because it has a different type of outsole than their usual obvious outsole that they're so known for. You see, six months ago, I guess, that's what they tell me here they introduced a new lug obvious outsole check that out and once i noticed this i had to try it out so you know where we start these things always with the rundown all right this is tin hall's checkers boot and it features full grain leather on the foot and the counter but it is patchwork style so they've sewn several different pieces of leather together in order to make a full boot and it is definitely a look this tin hall boot also features a wide square toe with a double stitched well it comes in at 11 inches tall and for a heel we have a one and three eighths inch bonded leather heel let's talk about this obvious outsole because it has lug it has traction it is so cool this is what i feel tin hall was missing was a little bit of extra traction down here for those of you who need that in the wet months or winter wanting that little bit of extra traction this is such a cool design i'm so glad they took their obvious outsole and added some lug to it on the inside it's lined with leather all the way through down to the foot kind of looks like it could be pigskin and for an insole it's a gel insole it says online so it does feel a little bit more squishy than your regular foam in fact, it looks like it's also made by Stetson. It has the Tin Hall logo on the top of the insole and it actually has a Stetson logo underneath that. So that's pretty interesting. I didn't know they were working together. And then underneath that, you do have a foam footbed. So you're gonna get a little bit extra cushion there, but it is not traditionally made. So you do have a lot of composite material in the footbed. Tin Hall boots are made in Mexico and this one is coming in at $350 here at Hitchin Post in Aberdeen, South Dakota. Now it's time to try on this boot to see how it looks and feels. All right, I got those Tin Hall checker boots on now with the obvious outsole complete with that lug. And they feel nice. That gel insole in there uh, is definitely providing some cushion. I hope not too much. Sometimes with gel, guys, I feel like the foot kind of slides around a little bit too much inside the boot. So I'm not so much of a fan of gel, but I know a lot of you guys are. And you know, it's feeling like you're getting a lot of cushion here. With that extra lug on the obvious outsole, it kind of feels like I'm standing a little bit taller than usual. So if you're looking for a little bit extra height, you know, I feel like I'm, I'm getting that here uh, when compared to the regular obvious outsole that you're getting from Tin Hall. What do you guys think about the checker patchwork here? Um, you know, it's definitely a look. It's definitely a personality. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if I could uh, pull it off on this pair, at least with this combination. I feel like if I wanted to do a patchwork look that uh, I'd want to go with something a little bit more bright and colorful than two sort of earthy colors because here we got the olive leather and the brown leather so it's just kind of all mixing together in a way that uh, I don't know doesn't really suit my personality but hey it might suit yours and that's really cool all right here's the POV so you can see more what I'm talking about with that patchwork and those squares that are different colors of course you do have the olive and the brown leather there as well with that wide square toe like i said that's definitely a look 
All right, guys, so I am a fan of the Tin Hall Obvious outsole. It's really tough from what I've seen online. You know, I haven't had a pair yet. I hope to try a pair, especially now that they have this lug because this is more my speed, you know? I don't do a lot of riding, so I don't really need that smooth surface. Up in the Northeast where there's a lot of snow, there's a lot of rain, there's slush, it just gets nasty in the wintertime. A sole like this saves my ass so many times. You know, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, be out in the winter with a smooth, slick, obvious sole. I need this lug for traction. So the fact that they have this and they just introduced it six months ago means the world to a northerner like myself. The patchwork here is just a little bit not my speed though because of the color combinations here. You know, I've seen some custom bootmakers do a yellow and red combination like really make them look ridiculous and that's the kind of patchwork that I would like or one of the exotic patchworks like a smooth ostrich patchwork and that's the kind of thing that I would probably go for this more earthy tone maybe not quite me but I know there's folks out there who like this look. And the way that they stitch this patchwork, I know some of you guys will be like, well, that's a place of weakness. But the, the patchwork stitcher actually stitches it to a similar strength level that this leather is. Of course, the leather will be more strong if it's in one full piece, but these stitches are nothing to laugh at when it comes to strength. <laughs> you know, you might laugh at them by looks, but not as far as strength is concerned. Custom boot makers have told me that this can hold up just fine. Overall, I'm really happy that Tin Hall is moving towards lug outsoles. I really like this and making it clear like their other ones so that you can have specific designs in these outsoles. It's really cool, but I wanna know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today. You can order these boots from Hitch and Post. All you gotta do is call or better yet, stop in here in Aberdeen, South Dakota. The store is so beautiful and it's so big. They got 14 different brands of boots here and that's just the brands. They got lots of styles too. It's incredible. So stop in if you're ever passing through or if you're nearby, make a day trip out of it because you're gonna be here a while, I promise. Let me know what you think of these tin hauls down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching today and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time, peace. Isn't it obvious? They finally put some lug on their souls Forget the caveats And just get yours at Hitchin' Post Yeah, yeah Thank you for watching today Why don't you check out this video up here about another Hitchin' Post That Honda Blue Or I got a music video down here I think you might enjoy Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time Peace, have a good one